Hey friends, wanted to give you a little update on First Flight, our TSI build. But before I get into that, I wanted to share a little bit about our experience with rivet guns. Obviously, when you're gonna build one of these airplanes, your rivet gun is a uh, key component. And as a lot of people in the, uh, the, the group, or the, the Facebook group and such, um, have talked very highly about the Stanley ProSet X-T2 rivet gun. I thought, well, you know, let's see if we can find one of those. Sounds like a, uh, a good tool to have, and I'm really uh, fond of having uh, good tools uh, in my shop. So uh, I got looking around, and eventually I came across a, uh, what I thought was a deal on, uh, on eBay. Uh, it was a brand new X-T2 for $450. Bucks. And looking around, uh, Googling it, trying to find uh, pricing on, on uh, brand new ones from a retail place, even online they were anywhere from 750 to 900 there's even some places that sell them for over a thousand dollars um so i thought hey this is a good deal brand new tool on ebay um and it was new everything about it hadn't been used or anything like that but um we're only uh a short way into our build and uh, we started having problems with the thing and ended up having to send the, uh, the the tool out and i still think it's a great tool when you're using it especially like on wings where you have large areas and just a lot of rivets to pull man you can really cruise right along with that baby and uh, so we really like it still but uh, it didn't last very long before i had to send it off to a um a rivet uh, a repair shop to get fixed and it costs well over 200 and some odd bucks with shipping and everything else to to get the thing uh the thing fixed um so i thought i'd share a little bit about that experience and some of the things that i that i learned obviously lubricating these tools is really important um, they take a special lubricant I didn't know that. That was the first time I came across this thing. Um, so when I got my tool fixed, I got some of this lubricant. Now, just so you're aware, this right here is $50 for this lubrication. And uh, then I found out you had to have a special syringe with a special little fitting in it in order to lubricate the tool. All right, so it's the way it goes. Um, I got a couple of uh, uh, additional uh, ends for it also. Um, some smaller ends so that we can pull the smallest uh, rivets, the, uh, what is it, 330 seconds rivets with our X-T2, uh, which if you look at the specs, that's really where an X-T1 uh, is designed for, but now we'll be able to do basically any of the rivets that's in the sling kit with our X-T2. But being without our good rivet gun got me looking around uh, for uh, some other options and I got looking to see you know what 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 could we do out there and uh, I came across this thing here um, This is a uh, this is a rivet king and obviously as you can see here we haven't used it yet uh, We just got it in but uh, it seems like a pretty viable Competitor to the Stanley so we're looking forward to uh, to trying this thing out um, I learned a lot from the guys where I got this. Uh, the company is called 3 Day Tool. It's at 3daytool.com. Uh, I paid retail for this thing. Uh, so it, it got nothing, to, uh, you know, they didn't send me anything and say, hey, put this on your video. Um, but uh, they seem like good guys out there. The guy's name was Doug also. Um, and uh, we're looking forward to, uh, to trying this thing out. Um, it came with uh, four different nose pieces. Um, it came with several other things too that are kind of interesting. You know, I said I spent $50 for this right here. Well, guess what? The Rivet King came with its own lubricating oil. And remember I also said that we spent 40 bucks for uh, the special syringe with a little fitting for the uh, X-T2? Well, guess what? It came with its own special syringe with a special end to lubricate it. It also came in this really nice case and um, um, little uh, container here for, if I can get it out, with all the, uh, the four uh, nose pieces, um, some extra jaws, um, and all of the tools necessary. So um, we're looking forward to, uh, to trying the thing out and see if it works. Um, I paid about $5.50 for that thing plus shipping. So um, it's not much more than my eBay special and it's certainly less than the retail numbers I saw for the Stanley X-T2. So stay tuned and we'll see how the thing works. Uh, Weight-wise, they're, they're, they feel identical in weight. Um, a little maybe nicer grip on the, uh, the X-T2, but not bad for the Rivet King. So um, 
and I don't remember exactly, uh, here it is. The, it, this is the RK8000S, which is their smaller uh, rivet gun. They have some ones that'll do bigger rivets. Um, like I said, this one has the four uh, end pieces, uh, nose pieces. So I think we're gonna be able to do uh, everything that we would need with the, the uh, sling kit with this. Um, but I think if you were to look at the specs, it's more like the X-T1, um, but we'll see after we kind of dive in. It just came, so we haven't had a chance to use it yet, um, but we're looking forward to, uh, to trying the thing out and uh, we'll let you know how it goes and see if it's a, uh, a viable uh, solution. One of the nice things though, if you're, especially if you're a, a building at home or in your garage and you're thinking when you're done with your kit, you don't necessarily wanna keep this kind of high-end tool and you wanna sell it. If you had this really nice uh, kit and everything and everything was there and the tool was just used, you could probably pass this thing on to another builder or somebody else uh, and recoup a good chunk of your money. Uh, because it just would be so nicely organized where the, um, my X-T2 didn't come uh, like that at all. Again, new, but eBay special. Um, but I don't think the, uh, the Stanleys come um, in their own kind of kit like this. So kind of a, uh, a nice thing if you wanted to uh, resell it again in the, uh, the future. And, you know, I'm learning that the trailer industry and, and several of these other industries use rivets extensively. And these things are designed to pull thousands and thousands and thousands of rivets. Uh, so if you build a sling, you've probably just barely broken the rivet gun in. So if you want to resell it in the future, or if you're thinking about buying a, uh, a used rivet gun uh, from another builder, uh, you're probably in good shape. It's probably going to, uh, to, uh, to last for probably several builds or, or more. So, uh, so just keep that in mind. These are, these are good quality tools designed to be used in, in industries that just pull thousands and thousands of rivets. So that's kind of my story that I wanted to pass along uh, about uh, rivet guns. And you know, we're learning a lot of things in this whole process of building first flight. Um, and it's going pretty well. So let me take you into the build room and show you where we're at for, with our build. So welcome to build room one, and I'm standing next to our uh, TSI that we call First Flight, and uh, it's coming along. We've got a good chunk of the, uh, the fuselage coming together. Um, of course, as some of my past updates, uh, wings are, are basically done. They're stored in another room, and if you look up, you can see a lot of our control surfaces are, uh, are all set. Um, we're about to order the, uh, um, the engine, and I'm ordering the engine here in the U.S., um, so we'll see uh, how that uh, works out here in the next few weeks. But uh, um, you know, our fuselage is coming together. We've we've uh, we've found uh, uh, some some different issues with the uh, the build manual and some different questions that uh, we've had to get answered uh, as we've uh, kind of put some of this stuff here together. But you know, it's it's coming together. We're we're really enjoying it. Uh, it's 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 been a, a great process. There's so many things that that we like. If if I sometimes are pointing out some of the the uh, some little negative things here or there, um, it's just uh, because they're interesting or informative, and I want to pass that stuff along. But uh, but overall, it's it's really a, an amazing kit and going together 
really, really well. Um, Looks like we're going to have potentially a few delays because uh, we're missing some components. And um, we had some components, some parts, uh, especially some skins, unfortunately, that were damaged. Um, and we've got one skin that we're trying to, uh, uh, to save that uh, was basically damaged by the machine that was punching the holes because all of the little marks that the machine was leaving were right next to all of the holes. So we're working through that. Uh, we've got a plan to to see if we can uh, salvage that, and I'll probably put that in a, uh, a later video. Um, but one of the things that I just wanted to pass along here is if you've gotten your kit, you're building a home, um, and you're missing th anything, you've done your inventory, um, Sling has a system of ordering that. Now, I'm sure many of you watching this are saying, well, yeah, duh, Doug, of course they do. Um, it took me a while before somebody actually told me, hey, this is how the system works, and so now I'm in tune with it all. And uh, you think a build center would be kind of on top of that stuff, but it took us a while before we actually got to here's that process. And so I'm regretting that I didn't uh, jump in and uh, get some of the parts that we uh, found we didn't have when we inventoried um, ordered sooner because it's obviously going to take a little while. And um, certainly if you come and build with us, we're going to get on that a lot faster in the, uh, the future, but live and learn. Um, and uh, we're waiting for some, some back order things too. But uh, Sling has a system of putting these parts um, online and uh, just going in there, putting the parts and kind of getting this, this process so that they get shipped to the United States. Um, and so we're seeing right now, how long is, is that gonna take? Uh, we have several things uh, ordered. So we may be coming up to a little bit of a holdup here in our build as we wait for these things, we'll see. Uh, we'll keep you posted as things get going. But uh, you can see first flight, the fuselage is coming together and uh, we're excited and having a, a lot of fun with it. So um, like this video, if you would please, and certainly follow our channel. It certainly helps us out. And uh, um, don't be afraid to drop me any questions in the comment area. Um, and some of you who are in the uh, Northeast that wanna come visit, uh, pull a few rivets, uh, see what this thing looks like, uh, touch base with us, uh, feel free to, uh, to to contact me and uh, set up a time to uh, to come and uh, and check things out. We'd be happy to uh, to show you around our our build center here. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.